Welcome back YouTube. We're going to be talking about free-to-play non-coiners and is it okay that they play because you're not spending money. I've seen this topic quite a bit in my time playing Ebony. I've seen it in a lot of comments like, yeah, I play Ebony, but hey, at least I didn't spend any money on it. I only spent a little bit. You know, I've seen so many different, you know, variations of this and I just want to do a deep dive to talk about it. Now, Ebony was my first experience in playing a game that was so like heavily based on money, right? Like in the past, I played like Call of Duty, like Prestige a whole bunch of times, or like Final Fantasy MMOs was kind of my thing for many years. So free to play is not like a foreign concept, probably for most video gamers. If you're playing Ebony, you probably played a free game before that as well. The big issue that I personally have with video games is that when you when you play a video game, you're putting who you are, like you're putting your real life on pause and you're hitting start on something virtual that really over time, it has no meaning. It has no significance. So I look back of all the video games that I have played from the time that I was like, I don't know, seven years old and I'm 40 now, you know, so call it like 32 solid years of video games. What was the point? Now, what is my relationship with video games? Am I playing a video game an hour every three days? Then that's, I mean, that's not a lifestyle, right? Am I playing three hours a day? I mean, five hours a day? So those that think it's okay to play video games, if you think it's okay, then I'm not here to change your mind on that. Really, the content that I'm putting out is designed for those that kind of believe or they know they have something going on that's not right. And... They, they can't quite put their finger on it because that's kind of where I was at for a big part of my life. When you're in a distracted state, you don't really take the time to sit and not and just really try to understand what's going on with yourself. It's And it's hard because when you can just wake up and look at your phone and boom, like there's a whole array of you know distractions like pick your poison. There's so much going on, right? It's really, really easy not to take the time to look within. If you're playing Ebony and you're not spending money, that's great. But to say that it's okay because you're not spending money like everybody else, it's like saying like, yeah, I smoke crack, but I'm not paying for it. You know, the other guys are, but I got a deal. I don't have to pay for my high. I'm good getting it for free. Well, you're still smoking crack. <laughs> I mean, that may be a, a harsh analogy, but it's along the same lines when it comes to wasting your time. And that's what video games are. So here's the caveat with this. If you've got the job you want, you've got the business you want, you've got the, the man or the woman that you want, like you have, you've accomplished everything that you want to get done in your life, and there's nothing more that you want to do, I mean, have at it. You know, distract yourself. There's nothing that you need to accomplish, right? However, if you don't have the job that you want, if you're not making the money that you want, if you don't have the lifestyle, if you don't have the relationships, if there's things that you actually want to accomplish in life, and you're doing the must-haves, right? Like you must work. You know, for most people, you have to work if you're an adult. You have bills. Like you have to show up. You have obligations and responsibilities that you have to meet on a daily basis, right? If you don't like that routine or if you don't like what's in your life, structure-wise, you're going to have to change that. Like this is my philosophy now. And this applies to myself, too. This is a real rude awakening that I had to come and make peace with. That if I'm not where I want to be at in life, then what am I doing playing video games? Like, that's not a luxury that I I believe that I have, right? Like, I'm not where I need to be at. And success and things that you have, it's really just a personal preference. There's no right or wrong to it. Like, you could be happy, go lucky, making 15 grand a year, you know, working construction, you know, having a family and just having like a roof over your head and and three meals a day. If that's what makes you tick, then great. I mean, I'm actually kind of envious of people like that <laughs> because it'd just be so simple, right? Some people have that in them. You know, some people, they want to take over the world. You know, there's no right or wrong to these things, but everybody has a different temperature or, you know, things that they want to accomplish. Playing Ebony or playing video games and investing time into it, if you're where you want to be at, then, you know, unsubscribe from the channel and God bless. However, if you're not, well, I mean, do the math on it. If you're playing three hours a day, or just for me, the energy of it, like, oh, I got to check my phone and my bubble. And I was the biggest coiner on my server, you know? So, but I was still like, oh, did I bubble? Is there drama? Like, it, it affected my nervous system, like, just my thought process. It interrupted, like, the, my health and well-being. 
like completely day in and day out, it did this. Even if it was peaceful, like you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? My point is that if you are where you want to be at in your life, then great, like do whatever you want. But if you're not where you want to be, then how can you afford to take the time like to spend like three hours a day? And that adds up. For seven days, that's 21 hours. I mean, that's like a part-time job. What do you? What is your bucket list? Like, what do you? What do you want to accomplish? Video games are not going to get it done. So when people say comments or feedback, which I understand, but when I hear, well, like it's my way of relaxing. Well, why aren't you doing what you love? And if you're not doing what you love, what story are you telling yourself that's stopping you from doing that? Because anybody can change your situation. I don't care who you are. There are different obstacles. Sometimes it's a like a bigger mountain to climb than others, depending on where you're at and what's happened to you in your life, no doubt. But you know, there's always ways to make things better. I can't see in any situation where numbing yourself out, pausing life, avoiding life is going to make your situation better other than just put it off longer. If you don't coin, that does not mean that you're home free. You still got the same addiction and problem everybody else if you're putting a lot of time into it.